Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. I don't know if you remember, in my last video I said I had made some changes to my entrance area and I made some more. I moved these lantern thingies up here, I added that little welcome sign. I got some new custom patterns which I'm really loving, let me show you. I got these pink flowers, I got this little log, I got some mushrooms. So I've been playing with those, I tweaked the rivers a bit, I added this little sitting area right here here and then I did some waterscaping and I added this little island so today I think I just want to go crazy with decorating let's do some decorating let's do a little bit of terraforming let's just make my island super pretty so if you would like to join me for that go grab some snacks grab some water grab your own switch you can play at the same time gonna be lots of fun let's let's get into it okay so i had put this dirt here but i don't like how this looks after uh <laughs> i did this yesterday and i left it and i you know coming back to it this morning i'm like eh no nah, i don't really like this maybe we can put some like a little circle somewhere but no let's get rid of this oh wait what if we put a heart what if we put a heart oh that's cute that's cute Okay, I already know what items I want to put here, or at least have a general idea. I definitely want to put a- where is it? A brick well. I think that's gonna look super cute. Oh, how adorable. Okay, wait, but first I need a tree somewhere, so where does that go, actually? Okay, that's looking cute. I actually think we should put some custom designs underneath the well. It's looking a little plain. I really do love the heart, but I don't know if I'll keep it here. We'll we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Let's try this Nova Light. Oh, really pretty. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of the heart. As much as I would love to keep it. Maybe instead we can make a little path. Like this maybe. I love adding little custom designs on these on um, skinny paths like this. I know you can't really see all of them, but I honestly think it just makes it look so much cuter. I like how this is looking so far. Maybe we need some flowers. Marina's looking so cute right now. Can a flower fit right here? No. Oh, actually, that's not a bad spot. I don't want white ones though. I don't know why I grabbed white ones. Let me share with you this super cool tip that I saw on Twitter the other day. It was to use grasshoppers as decoration because the cage that they're in is actually kind of cute. And I was like, that is so genius. I can't believe I never thought of that. And they actually still make the noise too. Wow, I didn't know that. So if you like that for the ambiance, if you like grasshopper noises, then um, you can definitely do that. You could try a wooden stool and maybe put something on top of it. That's pretty cute. Ooh, I like that better though. That looks way cuter. All right, this is how it's looking. I think it's coming out super cool. I honestly, I want to add like one or two more things and then I think I'm actually done with this area. So I can try to give some insight into what I'm thinking right here. I want something else vertical and very tall to go like in this area because it seems like a little flat and especially because there's nothing vertical back here. Like this is all super flat. I want something else to break up the height differences. So I think I like the street lamp the best, but we've got a white street lamp, a white Nova light, and a whitish stool. And I think that's too much white for this area. It's looking like a little too bright for me. So I think I'm gonna change the color of the Nova light and we can make it yellow probably and like kind of soften up the area. All right, there we go. I, I think I am gonna use the grasshopper. Um, I really like this area. It's really cute. It's kind of just like a little decorative island. I didn't know what else to put here, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. All right, and I want to work on these cliffs next and all these waterfalls because this is my flyover area and it's totally empty. So I would like to have a pretty flyover. This is the first thing you see on my flyover, which is a little farm that I tried to do and I completely abandoned it. So it looks really ugly right now. <laughs> um, there was just one row of yellow hyacinths here to be corn and for some reason now there's a bunch of orange ones. They just did that by themselves. Wait, I already have a few pieces here. I definitely need to add something in all these little spaces. Okay, I want to swap those. 
white flowers with a different color, but that'll do for now. I really want to make this area feel like really magical and fairy core, so let's see what I can do. You know what? I guess let's start with this area. I have this little outcropping of an area and there's a little path right here that leads you back to the beach. So I think I want to put like a really cute seating area here. So let's work on that first. Let me grab some furniture. Oh my god, I have a freaking squad out here. Look at these queens. I have to take a picture of them. Hold on. Marina, stop photobombing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please get out of the picture. Okay, wait. What am I here for? I completely forgot what I was here for. Okay, I was doing the seating area. Okay, okay. I literally have like nothing. We could try this bad boy. And a little table. Thank you, Octavian, for just coming and plopping down exactly where I need to be working. Thank you. Okay, so I put this little oil lamp on the table, which I actually think is kind of cute. Hmm. I think I also want to get rid of some of this flower path. I think it's a bit too much for this area. Let's condense it down to where like the little sitting area actually is. There we go. That's super cute. And I know what would go perfectly right here where I'm standing. Let me grab that. I think I want to put a bush back here instead of these rocks. Let's go get a bush. Nice. That looks perfect. Oh, this is coming together. And let's put some of these stones so it kind of like leads you this way and tells you that there's a path going this way also. Very nice, very nice. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Just had lunch. Decided to uh, sit down and record some decorating. I had an itch to do some decorating today, which is... I was gonna say it's it's been rare for me to want to decorate, but actually no. I've been, I've been getting in the mood because I really want to make my island look nice because <laughs> uh, I, I really want to do an island tour, but... It's- my island's just not ready yet. It's just not where I want it to be right now. But hopefully soon. We're- we're really getting there. I'm making so much progress. Ooh, that looks super cute. I love adding just like one little fence. Occasionally, you can see I put a bunch of it over here. One little fence. One little fence. It just looks so cute. I don't know. And it's like whenever I don't really have anything else to put in an area, I just kind of like slap a fence piece down and I'm like, all right. That's good enough. Alright, let's try moving on to the area above. Let's see what we can do up here. Ooh, you know what looks super cute up here? One of those garden wagons? Let's go make one of those. Okay, I went and got a bunch of items. That took me freaking forever because I had to go and harvest the flowers to make the garden wagon. I don't even know where I'm going to put that. Ooh, wait. What about right here, actually? I think I like this. No, I didn't mean to do <laughs> that. Oh, I wanted to kick off the uh, custom pattern. No. Uh, I've just been thinking about stuff that I miss doing, you know, because quarantine. I really miss going to cons. I don't know if anybody ever was into cons, but I was really into them. And I would go to quite a few. And I was actually thinking about this one time. This is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a cringy story. But it's still really funny. <laughs> so like, I was dressed up as Kirby. I was cosplaying as Kirby. And my boyfriend and all our friends were also dressed as Super Smash Bros characters. And then a guy comes up to us and he- I think he asked us like if we would want to be part of like this video that he was doing and like do an interview. And he said that he liked our costumes and stuff like that. So of course we said yes, sure, whatever, you know. We were, it, it was a smaller con, so the more stuff for us to do, you know, the more entertained we were going to be. So, we told him yes, and he had like a cameraman, and he has like a mic and everything, like a like an interview microphone, which was crazy. It was, it was like surprisingly professional for him just like being at a con, like a random small con. And then he um, has us all introduce ourselves, except he wants us to say like a line that our character says right and 
my friends are dressed as like actual human characters so they actually like speak but i'm just as kirby kirby doesn't say anything <laughs> so and mind you i'm not like the hugest kirby fan okay i just like playing kirby in smash bros uh i am i've enjoyed the very few times that i've played kirby games i just like how kirby looks like it's freaking kirby who doesn't like kirby and it's an easy cosplay you just slap on some pink clothes so i didn't want to risk sounding like a like a fig fan and saying something wrong so i i i was thinking oh kirby says like poyo right that's like the only thing that kirby ever says but i was like too afraid that it, i that i was actually wrong so I didn't want to say that. So instead of just saying Poyo and calling it a day, when he gets to me, I just, I, I do the Kirby suck. I try to imitate Kirby sucking someone up. So I like raise my arms up and I go like, <gasps> and like, like try to be Kirby sucking someone up. And it was so <laughs> cringy. It was so, it was so cringy. It wasn't embarrassing. It was just cringy. He was asking us some more questions and then like and he's like oh uh the batteries died so give me one second like the batteries in the either in the camera or the mic i don't remember so then he puts his backpack on the floor and he starts like digging and rummaging through his backpack like in the middle of the convention mind you we're in the middle of the convention like people are walking around us people are staring and we're just like me and my friends are like up in a line doing this interview and then the i guess i think he was looking for batteries and it was like taking him forever <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to put the batteries in whatever died and we're just like standing there like uh so you know the weather today huh it was it was something else <laughs> and then we had to like repeat the last couple things that we had said again because his camera had died and then you could tell that the poor dude was so frustrated because of his camera and he was like oh you know he's very grateful he was still very nice but it was very it was very awkward to say the least so that's a uh, that's one of my many cringy convention stories but yeah a lot of cringy stuff can happen at conventions it's just it's just the way it is but that also comes with really awesome moments like the only celebrities i've ever met have been at conventions and because of conventions uh this is looking so good yes man when i was like 15 i never would have expected that this would be my style I used to be so anti-pink and anti-girly. I was such a tomboy when I was like, I would say 14 to, uh, oh, I don't even remember when I started embracing it. But yeah, I used to be super tomboy, super anti-pink, anti-girly. I used to be one of those girls who was like, I'm not like other girls. Internalized misogyny be like that sometimes. But now I don't care. I honestly don't care anymore in a good way. I still care about things, of course. I try to be a very caring person, but I honestly don't care. Like, is the music that I listen to cringy right now? Yes, it is. But do I care? No, I stopped caring about dumb stuff like that. There's so much more in the world that I feel like we should be caring about. That's so much more important. This is way too straight of a cliff right here. But I think I'm gonna be putting a house right here, and I think I'm gonna take it in right here. I just have to move that stuff on top. But yeah, it's so much more freeing when you just like don't care anymore. So if you're still worried about, you know, what people think of you and stuff, it's it's so natural to think about that. And I'm not saying that I just don't bat an eye anymore. Of course, I still care and I still think of that stuff sometimes too. It's it's hard not to, honestly. It's really hard not to. But if you can care just a little bit less and just truly embrace just doing what you like and just doing whatever you want as long as it's not hurting anybody, you know, like there's there's honestly no harm at all. At least, I don't know. I feel like the older you get, the more you mellow out in that sense. So if you're younger, you know, I don't blame you at all for being worried about that stuff. It just, it comes with age, I guess. Okay, let's put another baby bear up here. Or not another baby bear. Let's put a baby bear to match the mama bear. I'm honestly just like doing whatever right now. I have no plan at all. <laughs> so I'm really happy that it's turning out good. I highly encourage you, if you don't know what to do, just like start slapping stuff down. I mean... The, the curse that comes with it, at least for me, is that 
forever I will be cursed to uh, be changing everything and making tweaks all the time. Like, my entrance... Let's go to my entrance. The first time I did my entrance, I thought this is so perfect, I could never change it. And I've changed it like... Well, I haven't changed it. The, the general layout, I've kept the same. Like the cliffs and the rivers for the most part. But I have tweaked things because, I don't know. You know, you, you notice things after staring at it for a while. And uh, you just gotta change it to be happy with it. Come here, you jumpy boy. No! How do they just disappear into the wall like that? That doesn't make sense! Does anybody else ever wish that they could just decorate their houses and their rooms and their yards just like you can in Animal Crossing? Like, I wish I had some of these items. But then you, like, go and look up how much a well costs. You know, like, buying one from, like, Home Depot or wherever they sell it and you're like, oh, I could never afford that. But actually, if you go to homedepot.com and you search up wishing wells, there's actually a decent number of options, ignoring these ones, these are too expensive. There's this one for $2.55 and this one for $1.26, so actually, not that bad. It truly makes you appreciate how uh, nice Tom Nook is to sell all his stuff for so cheap. Okay, I feel like let's make this like a super pink area, that would be so cute. Mm, but it's all kind of like in a line, I don't know how I like that. Okay, let's put some little flowers here instead, and let's put the mantis maybe over here? That could work. And also, I just bought a new PC, which is super exciting. Um, I've been using a gaming laptop, which has been super nice and super good uh, for the last year that I've been using it, but I figured it was time to invest. I haven't had my own PC uh ever actually when i still lived at home i would just use the family pc it wasn't really mine even though i was the one who mostly used it and then when i moved out i just used laptops so this is actually my first like computer computer it was super exciting so yeah with that hopefully i can get some streams going maybe soon i don't know how soon uh, i'm a little scared of streaming i don't i don't know i feel like i'm not gonna be entertaining enough or something or i'm just gonna be really boring i don't know i just don't know if i can handle streaming it seems like so much pressure <laughs> don't get me wrong i really want to i really want to hang out with people and i feel like it would be super fun and i can just kind of like do super chill streams you know we can all play animal crossing at the same time together it would be really fun I just- I also have no idea how to stream. I am a huge noob when it comes to that stuff. So yeah, there is gonna be a lot for me to figure out, which is fine. I am fine with learning new things. I can figure it out, I'm sure. I'm just like a little scared. I'm a little scaredy cat. I don't know how I would do under pressure and I don't know. I'm just scared. I don't want to mess it up. We'll see, we'll see, but I'll, I'll probably get over it, hopefully. I have never been much of a public speaker. I mean, just making these videos, uh, I can tell I've gotten a lot better at talking, I think. I, I think I'm coming out of my shell a little bit more because I've always been an introvert. And uh, just forcing myself to talk, you know, even if it's just kind of like I'm talking to myself a little bit, just talking into a microphone, you know, it's been helping. So I definitely feel like I could do a better job than I would think at speaking and being entertaining. There still is that introvert in me that's like, oh, that's so scary, people. And you can't edit out your mistakes. They're gonna know, they're gonna hear every one of your mistakes. <laughs> but I know I know everyone is super nice and nobody would, would mind if I mess up. So I'm not, I'm not super scared, just a little bit, just a little bit. I think I wanna put a tree right here. Let's go get a tree. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking about the streams, all right? I can't I can't do anything right now with until my PC comes and I still have to transfer everything over and stuff like that and I don't know. It might it might be a bit. So we'll see. No. Oh my goodness. Dumb stupid cliffs. Why do you have to ruin everything? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. But do let me know if you would be interested in streams. Ooh, that looks so cute, actually. <gasps> that looks so cute. Oh my goodness, I'm loving this. I still need to work on 
this uh, upper level right here. I just, I'm not sure what shape to make it, especially because this crap is here. And I don't even know what all these items are. Climbing walls, book. Ooh, I could put a book somewhere. Where can we put some books? Maybe instead of the sewing kit, actually, because the sewing kit has red little uh, accents and I those don't really match. Ooh, that's cute. Even though the book is blue, but that bothers me less. That's cute, I like that. So yeah, here is a look at everything. Now you can see all that beautiful stuff that we did in the background also. We can hop from here to here. Even though we have to sit on this to get by, but that's fine. Oh, it's coming out so good. Okay, let me go take a look at the island that we did. These guys are still chilling. All right. What I don't like is the red. I don't like the fact that the well has a red roof and I don't like the red cherry tree. So you know what? Let's change it for a peach tree and see if that helps. Because my color scheme is pretty much pink, white, yellow, green. Um, I think that's it pretty much. So it's like, I don't really want to have red unless I'm doing like a, like Octavian's house right here. His house is red. I put some red flowers and a red fence. Like it just matches. It just makes sense. I'm not a fan of red in general, but also not on my island. It's not the theme that I'm going for. Where is a peach tree? Did I pass one? Do I not have a peach tree? Wait, there's some down here, I think. Ooh, I actually like how a book looks on here. Okay. I think I like this little area better. I wish the top of the well could be pink, but I can't change that. So I think I'm good. That's that's good enough. All right, so up here, we're pretty much done. We just need to figure out what we're doing back here. And with this upper level, high five from me to you. That was me trying to high five the mic. It probably didn't sound good. But yeah, I think with that, I'm going to be done. That was a good a good amount to do today. I'm very satisfied. Um, hopefully you had some nice snacks and hopefully if you weren't eating snacks you were playing Animal Crossing yourself so I hope you got something productive done. Don't forget I currently have a giveaway going. Check out last video the chatty cleanup video for information on that and you have to enter on that video any comments on this video will not be counted for the giveaway so make sure you go and leave a comment on the last video to be entered into the plushie giveaway and all the information is in that video's description so go check that out thank you for leaving me such nice comments especially on my last video some of you guys are so sweet i don't deserve you <laughs> it really motivates me to keep going and to keep making more content for you because it's making you guys happy so thank you so much thank you again for hanging out and for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one